the reason every ice climber should have the Hydra is that there's no other tool that can go so many places. If you want to go climb mixed terrain or vertical ice or high in the alpine, you can change the Hydra to meet that objective. So over the past three years of development at BD, we've seen the Hydra out in the field with athletes such as Aaron Mulkey and Yannick Glattard in Cook City. We saw Will Gadd in South Africa putting up new ice and mixed routes. And then the really remarkable and epic first ascent of Neuro Face of Johnny with Jackson Marvel and his team. So over the past three years, Black Diamond has spent each winter building and iterating on the Hydra to try to get to that place where it's actually better. We want people to take this thing and first day out, be like, that's the tool I want to use. That's the best tool I've ever used. I was asked to design a new, highly competitive technical ice tool, the end-all be-all badass ice climbing machine. I'm Jeremy Steck. I'm a design engineer here at Black Diamond Equipment. And for the past three years, I've worked on the Hydra ice tool. I decided to basically turn everybody that was willing to go out with me ice climbing sort of into a guinea pig. And I had some tools where I drilled a bunch of holes in the picks and I put a lot of brass washers on there and I moved them all around in different configurations and just let people climb on them. And what I learned was everyone kind of gravitated to this certain place of like a center of mass on the head that was like within a really narrow margin. Everyone could agree this is where things need to be. That particular point is where I put the front bolt on the head and we basically designed the tool around that. And there's all kinds of things to design around that. You have all the different pick geos, uh, the grip shape, how long the tool is, how much bend there is, you know, where your second position is, where your first position is, all of that like kind of all matters and needs to play together nicely. And to start it going to town, like bending pipes essentially until I could get it to the shape I wanted. And then we started 3D printing grips to put on there and kind of tweaked it to get to where the Hydra's at today. I'm Sean Dunlop and I worked in the quality lab on the development team for the F24 Hydra Ice Tool. Today we're gonna demonstrate some testing we did to make sure this thing held up in the field. Cyclic testing on the overall assembly. That is just gonna be representative of a, a normal working load in the field. The second test, a fatigue test we perform on the tip of the pick to ensure during a normal cleaning operation or even mixed climbing loads just to evaluate our material thicknesses and heat treats. Testing we cold impact on the ads cold impact on our upper pommel and lower pommel. And then the drop test is to evaluate the cold impact resistance of the upper pommel. A lot of times during a climbing scenario, on a bulge of ice, you might impact this. And just to make sure that there's no breakage in the field. You can make a tool that meets all those lab tests and doesn't climb well. A big part of the testing story is how we took this out over many seasons and gave it to some of the best ice climbers in the world and just said, hey, what do you think? And you, what can we do to make this better? I've been climbing on BD tools for more than 25 years. We've gone through a lot of iterations of this. And the final version of it, right here, has me more stoked on BD tools than anything I've had for the last 15 years, honestly. We see the perfect user as just about anybody who is headed out. They're probably pretty committed to ice climbing at this point. If you are committed but still a beginner or intermediate, all of the adaptability that comes with this head and construction and, and grip and versatility, that's going to serve you well. Now, as you continue on your progression, your journey as an ice climber, mixed climber, dry tool or alpinist, um, the Hydra will still work. All of these parts are designed for the climber um, at every level. And when you mix and match these parts, you'll find that combination that works best for you. So for years, BD has built the heads of ice tools out of steel. And as we started working on the next, the next generation of tools, we really thought that that weight of steel in the head was gonna be a kind of hinder our ability to place the weight in the tool where we wanted it. So the integrated component exchange allows us to take new picks with a new construction combined with this aluminum head and these weights and hammer configurations to make it so 
The tool can be optimized for all the different conditions, whether it's dry tooling, alpine climbing, pure ice climbing. Allowing these parts to be moved around or changed makes it so that you can tackle all those adventures. And the key is that this aluminum head takes all of those parts. This is a, the product of all of our collective engineering and design ability, our athletes and users' ability to describe what they want when they're climbing, as well as our ability to design, prototype, work with a manufacturer that can create hydroform shafts, hot forged heads, cast tungsten head weights, forged picks. All of these parts are the product of a really complicated and elaborate sort of industrial process applied to a very sort of human tool.